how much prep work should you do before you start your comic, and what prep work do you need to do? The short answer um, is you don't need prep work if you don't want it. Um, there's no right answer with starting projects. Whatever works for you, do it. Because there's some people who can pull, like, stuff out of thin air, and it's perfect and brilliant, and it works. So if you're that person who can do that, like, teach me your ways. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll go over what kind of prep work I do and what um, I've learned to do through making comics. Um, so, right, prep work. Um, character sheets are a great start. Uh, do turnarounds of your characters, design their clothing, their hairstyles, uh, understand how they move and how they express themselves. Because the way a character shows, like, anger will be different depending on who they are. You know, like, everyone's expressions are different. Some characters express it really quietly and reserved. Some people, like, blow up and explode with anger. So really define how they express themselves so that you can be consistent throughout your comic. Um... I've realized starting comics is that um, as I draw them, the characters change. Um, so I found making reference sheets really gives. Um, so I found having reference sheets really helps keep the the character consistent throughout the comic. Uh, if you have any like special objects or symbols or motifs, uh, you should also probably put those down on paper before you start. Um, for example, like, a magic symbol, or a special magic effect, or, like, um, a necklace, or an important object that's gonna pop up. Like, make sure to design that so, again, it's consistent as you go along. And that way, if it shows up on, like, page one, and doesn't appear again until, like, page 200, then you don't have to go back through your comic pages to find it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you should also include background designs and, uh, room layout. Um, even if it's just, like, a little scribbly diagram of how the floor space looks, like, where the bookshelf or the couch is placed, um, it'll save you a lot of time and it'll make your backgrounds more consistent. It really helps to understand, kind of, the layout of an environment. For one, it can add depth to the scene you're working in, it can give you interesting stuff for characters to interact with, and it's important for, like, the space to make sense, if you know where all the objects are, so that your reader isn't confused. <laughs> oh, another visual design aspect uh, you should look into is uh, color palettes. If you're working on a color comic, um, it's important to pick all your color palettes and test them out together. Take your color palettes for, like, say, like the first three scenes and your main characters and sit them all side by side and, th and think, you know, are these harmonious? Do they look like they're from the same story? Um, if I sat character A and character B together, do their color palettes look like they're standing in the same room? You know? <laughs> it doesn't look like one standing in a shadow and one standing in bright sunlight. Uh, doing that will make your, your comic and your environment feel a lot more cohesive. Um, and it'll save you trouble picking color palettes later. If you're working with a black and white comic, it will also help to figure out the grayscale values of your characters. Um, for example, you know, if your character is a red head, how do you express that in your black and white comic? It's like, are you going to use a gray tone? Are you going to leave it as white space? Um, if someone has dark brown hair, are you going to make it a dark gray or are you just going to use black? Uh, that can be important to figure out so that you understand the contrast levels in your page. So getting away from the visual aspects and more into kind of the story planning side of things, um, you'll definitely want an outline of your story. I generally suggest having like a full script written, but depending on the length of your comic, that might not be realistic to do. So I would recommend that you should at least have an outline of your major story beats, just so that you kind of know what you're building to and you know what to foreshadow. Uh, early on in your comic. Um, and along with that, you should always storyboard your pages before you start drawing them. Make sure to lay out your pages and have the compositions of your pages down. Uh, my thumbnails are just squiggles. They're really messy. They're really just for my own reference. Um, and they usually just suggest, like, the position of the character in the panel, the shape of the panel, um, the placement of panels, and the flow through each page, and then maybe character expression. They're super, super gestural, 
They're just a little outline to make sure that I'm not doing a weird composition that will throw my reader off the page too early. Out of all these things, how much of these should you do? Well, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's really up to you. <laughs> uh, I tend to do some prep work before I start a comic, um, but a lot of it actually happens after I've started already making pages. Personally, for me, this is something I need to work on because of all the issues I detailed here where, like, you know, I'll have inconsistencies of how characters are dressed. So I really need those character reference sheets early on so I'm not making mistakes. I would say at the bare minimum, draft an outline of your story, design your main characters, and storyboard your first few pages. I think that's enough to kind of get you through the beginning of your comic and you can keep working on them from there. Because if all this prep work is stopping you from starting... I think you just need to start, because you can make a really great comic while working on the go. Lots of people do it. It's how I've done my early comics. If you find you've been doing this on the go stuff and you're struggling, it might help to do more prep work. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments or want to tell me about your prep process, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!